What's cooking everybody? Dave Altizer here with Kinotika and today we're talking about the M50 or the SL2, which one is best for you? We just finished an official review of the Canon M50 and we really love this camera. If you haven't seen it, check it out in the eye icon above. I have a lot of experience with the SL2 and unfortunately I don't have it in front of me now, but I'll just speak to my previous experience using that camera on this channel. The first point that I wanna make is about the size comparison between the M50 and the SL2. The M50 weighs 0.8 pounds and the SL2 weighs about one pound. That doesn't sound like a huge difference, but where the difference really lies is with the lenses. This lens right here, the 22 millimeter lens, mounts on the EFM mount on the M50, and that's something we're gonna talk about later. And with the SL2, you have to use EF lenses, which are typically a lot larger. So even though the camera is a lot smaller and lighter than most DSLRs, once you pair it with a lens, it's probably gonna be quite heavier than the M50. The second thing that I wanna talk about is the lens mounts on both of these cameras. The SL2 has a standard EF mount, but it's an EFS mount, so you can use use both cropped lenses and full frame EF glass. But honestly, the M50 has the same benefit as well with that adapter from Canon that allows you to put all the EF lenses on it and you get the ability to use EFM lenses. So these are really small and they're really nice. They're high quality optics. But what's really interesting about this system is the potential of using a speed booster with this camera that basically changes the field of view of your camera from being an APS-C sized sensor to essentially being a full frame sensor. The third thing about these cameras that makes them different is their processors. The SL2 has a Digic 7 processor in it, which is what a lot of the other crop sensor cameras from Canon have. But this camera has the brand new Digic 8 processor, and we have talked about this a lot on this channel already in the reviews. You can see that and see why that's important, but basically it's better, okay? It gives us 4K, it gives us the ability to have great image stabilization, and gives us better low light performance and that great C raw, it's a compressed raw format. All those things are not on the SL2 and they're on the M50. That again, gives another notch to the M50 in my book. The M50 costs 629 body only and the SL2 costs 599 body only. And again, because it uses EF lenses natively, you don't have to buy that $200 adapter that's required to use EF lenses with this camera. So if you have a bunch of EF lenses already, like a 24 to 70, a 70 to 200, just those classic Canon lenses, and you're wanting to buy a camera as maybe a backup to like a 5D or something, you're gonna wanna buy that adapter with this camera, which is gonna make this price point much higher. The SL2 is actually cheaper, but it makes it even cheaper if you're planning on using these cameras with EF lenses and not EFM lenses. So what about video? Well, on both of these cameras, we get the amazing dual pixel autofocus that Canon has. We also get the beautiful, much appreciated flip out selfie screen and mic input. So for videographers, both the M50 and the SL2 in terms of 1080p quality are very similar, but this camera does have a little trick up its sleeve that the SL2 does not have, and that is 4K! This camera can shoot 4K video. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat with that. I'll put a little asterisk here and say, if you're not a professional and you're not willing to do manual focus, then I wouldn't even touch or bother with the 4K mode. I highly recommend the 4K on this. We're gonna be doing a full video review on this, going into detail about how to get the best image quality in 4K out of this camera. There's a lot of hacks, a lot of fun things that I've learned about C-mount lenses, about the speed booster. On top of the 4K mode, we also get the ability to shoot in a high frame rate mode. We get 120 frames per second with this camera, which is great. It's uh, only 720p. I have seen a lot of image issues with it. It's definitely not something that I would use on a professional level, but if you're just wanting to get something really cool, you know, somebody spitting water or jumping in a pool or whatever, it's there and it looks decent. This camera also has something that the SL2 doesn't have for video, the 
that I think is fantastic and why can't Canon put on all their other cameras and that is focus peaking. This camera has focus peaking. I don't understand why the other cameras don't have focus peaking. This camera has focus peaking. It's really reliable. And again, that gives it another edge for video with this camera. The SL2 shoots five frames per second in burst and the M50 takes 10 frames per second burst. Again, another one for M50. For autofocus points, the M50 has 153 autofocus points. The SL2 has nine. Seriously, Wait, really? I'm serious. Both the M50 and the SL2 have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but the M50 has some amazing features in it that make it really unique. One being the GPS tagging that you can do with your phone and the camera. Basically, this camera doesn't have a GPS built in, but because your phone has GPS built in, it's able to connect over Bluetooth to your phone in the background, even when your phone is locked. And it tags every image that you take with that GPS position. The other thing that makes this camera really unique with the Wi-Fi function is this amazing auto transfer function. Once you turn it on and enable it, you can lock your phone and stick it in your pocket and just go about your business at your vacation or just whatever and take pictures with your camera. And as you're taking photos, it's literally sending a JPEG to your phone in the background automatically. Really amazing. That's really something that I wish every camera in the whole wide world did because it just makes a lot of sense. You know, take pictures instantly. They're on your phone. So that again gives the M50 quite an edge because the SL2 cannot do those things. This camera really is a unique camera in Canon's lineup because it almost seems like an accident. This camera was designed to be for beginners. But there's so many features packed into this that make it a pro camera that it's actually something that makes me a professional video person excited. If you already own an SL2 and you're thinking about selling it and buying this camera, do it. I think you should. <laughs> I really do. I don't think you're gonna lose a lot of money because the SL2 is still rather new. And if the features that I listed that are great about the M50 are interesting to you and are something that have value to you, especially that 4K and some of the great things about this, then do it. You know, who cares if you lose 50 bucks or 100 bucks on eBay? I think it's worth it because this camera has so many great features that make it so much better. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Which camera do you wanna get? the M50 or the SL2. Put that in the comment section below. I try to answer as many comments as I possibly can. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. It's at Kinatika TV. We post live stories there. And please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. Once again, I'm Dave Altizer. This is Kinatika. See you next time.